As Bangladeshi authorities try to tackle a growing domestic threat, possibly from ISIL, is the country heading down a quote-unquote extremist path? Several atheist bloggers inside the country have been hacked to death for expressing secular views. Earlier, I sat down with Bangladesh's Deputy Foreign Minister, Sharia Alam, and began by asking him how he explains the barbaric killings of the bloggers to a shocked outside world. We do condemn those, uh, those attacks, and out of the six uh, attacks and six killing took place, government has unearthed and completed investigation in four of them, and out of those four, uh, three of those killers confessed. They have made confessional statement to the police. So we have unearthed uh, those people. But, you know, it's a very sensitive issue in Bangladesh, you know, freedom of speech, and at the same time, people do not hurt uh, religious sentiment of people. You know, you need to strike that fine balance. And that's what the government is doing. But, but in striking that sure, fine balance, yeah. some say that you send mixed messages, uh, to quote Human Rights Watch. They say you've sent mixed messages on this group. On the one hand, yes, you have condemned the killings, investigated them. On the other hand, you seem to have suggested that the bloggers were partly at fault for their own deaths. They should have self-censored. Uh, your Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, said in 2013 to party members that she would take action against those responsible online for hurting people's religious sentiments. Uh, yes, true, she said that. So but aren't you aren't creating a climate in which people think no, we, we can not. attack these people? No, we are not. In fact, you arrested four of those bloggers under blasphemy laws in 2013, four bloggers you yes, arrested. Yes, yes. You know, one will have to understand, you know, 160 million people in Bangladesh, and 93 or 94 percent of them are, are practicing Muslim. You know, we cannot have a Charlie Hebdo in Bangladesh, you know. That's for France, that's for a democracy who are 500 years old or 100 of years old. You know, in Bangladesh, it's a, it's a new country, new democracy. The country itself, uh, uh, you know, uh, no when we part ourselves from Hebdo, Pakistan, but maybe the prime no, minister let, let should encourage. No, no, no. Uh, let me. Yeah, we do. We do encourage that. You know, that's why you see the number of television channels, the new licenses that has been issued are over 30. The number of newspaper in Dhaka itself is over 1,000. We have about 30 odd uh, uh, FM uh, radio stations. You know, and we have regular talk shows where governments are getting criticized uh, every day. And those are very popular uh, shows also. You know, we do have that tolerance from the government side. But at the same time, we need to safeguard the people's sentiment, uh, you know, when it comes to religion. But will you actually crack down on people who incite hatred and violence we are doing against it. people? We are doing it. While also locking them up under blasphemy laws? No, no, if they do, you know, but we have genuine cases. Okay. Uh, you said that on the ground, uh, in the investigations we've carried out, we did not get any evidence of ISIL links as yet in Bangladesh and that you do not think any terrorist or groups such as ISIL would ever gain permanent or semi-permanent ground in Bangladesh. Yet ISIL itself says it has revived, quote, jihad in Bengal. They say they have a regional leader in place in Bangladesh. They've claimed responsibility for recent rather unprecedented attacks on Shia mosques in your country. OK, in Bangladesh, it's true. We do not have IS or IS, I, I, ISIL. But what we do have are sympathizers who are there under the government sponsorship during the uh, BNP Jamaat regime. We know the you know, 500 bomb went off at the same time. We know the attacks that took place on the High Commissioner of, of England. So we were, know they the all attacks. were they all ISIL sympathizers? Uh, quite a few of them are. The current investigation that, uh, that's carrying on, but we, we, we haven't so found any direct linkage. Uh, they, they probably believe in the same ideology, but they do not have any exchange or any communication. So that's uh, pretty bad. Even mind. if there's no formal presence, what oh, you're yeah. is there's an informal, oh, no, let, let, let me get very clear. You know, whether it's IS uh, or not, whether ISIL or Mujahid al-Islam or uh, Bangla Bhai or, you know, whatever the other names that came up, the government of Sheikh Hasina is determined and we have a zero tolerance policy and that's one of the very successes of Sheikh Hasina's government in the last seven years in that region. Some say that Sheikh Hasina is uh, opening the door uh, to ISIL uh, with some of her policies. In fact, General James Clapper, Director of National Intelligence in the United States, Director of National Intelligence for President Obama, said a few weeks ago in Congress, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's continuing efforts to undermine the political opposition in Bangladesh will probably provide openings for transnational terrorist groups to expand their presence in the country. That's pretty damning from the head of US intelligence about your country. Uh, we, we talked about it. We, don't, we do not agree what uh, Mr. Clapper had to say. You know, that's for him and his government to, to decide. But we have uh, raised our concern that, you know, we do not accept that comment. But uh, what I'm saying is the Sheikh Hasina's tough stance against terrorism has paid off in the last seven years. We have fantastic cooperation. How has it paid off when you, there were nev there's never been an attack on a Shia mosque and suddenly you have two in a row uh, in 2015? How is that paying uh, off? Uh, yes, but, you know... That sounds uh, like how, sectarian how, violence it, 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 on the rise. It's not Pakistan or Afghanistan where you have... But you're on that road people. is the worry. No, That's no, what General no, Clapper is saying. You've those bombs, the if you analyze them from security point of view, those are Molotov cocktail homemade, you know, domestic-made small bombs. 
and uh, we do not have any uh, possibility in Bangladesh. You know, I'll, put, I'll give you this perspective. 160 million people in 55,000 square miles makes Bangladesh by far the most densely populated country on earth. Yeah? They do not have any hideout. They cannot have any safe heaven for a dozen of terrorists to get organized in one place. You know, the small tea pops, any villages where they have organized themselves to have a local meeting. I'm talking about the local, those groups, you know, supported by mm. Jamaat Islam as a terrorist organization. Uh, police uh, turn up and you know got them arrested ev in every occasion you know so we have gone that far minister thanks for joining me on upfront thank you very much